Here we have a 2019 BMW X3 X-Drive 20D M Sport. Now this vehicle comes with the 19 inch gloss black alloy wheels, all in excellent condition and unmarked. We do also have the M Sport suspension. We have the carbon black exterior paintwork, LED headlights, we also have the gloss black front grills, we have the gloss black front splitter, and there's a look at the front end. Making our way around to the passenger side, you find the second alloy wheel, yet again in excellent condition, just down here. We also have the colour-coded door handles, the black door mirrors, we have the black trim around the windows, and the privacy glass as well for the rear passengers. Up top you find we have the black roof rails, we do also have the shark front antennae, and the rear spoiler. And round to the rear you find we have the front and rear parking sensors, we have a visual display inside, and also a reversing camera. Round to the rear you find we have the dual legs exhaust, the rear diffuser and a power assisted tailgate. Press the button on the remote and the boot will open like so. Inside of here you find we have plenty of space for whatever you may need. We've got the partial shelf running just up there and also a 12 volt connectivity on the right hand side. Come back out, we do have a button just here, press the button and the boot will close again like so. And making our way back round to the driver's side you find this vehicle is free from any major marks, dents or scratches. Take a look then at the interior now. So if you have a look at the back first, you find we have the full black leather interior. We've got the foldable armrest in the centre and the fixed ISO points. We do also have the climb control down there for the rear passengers. On the doors we have the ambient lighting, the brushed metal door handles and also the electric windows. Again at the front we have the same leather interior. Both the front seats are heated and there is a look at them front seats. We do again have the brush metal handles and the lighting running across the doors. We have the electric mirrors and electric windows, char lock for the rear. Automatic lights and the automatic wipers. We do have a multifunctional steering wheel which has the paddle shifters on either side. Taking the seat inside you find we have the speed limiter and the cruise control on the left hand side. We've got the digital screen for the dashboard, if you put your foot on the brake, press the start button then the vehicle will start up for us. And you find on the dashboard that we are free from any warning lights. You can change the view of the dashboard by going into different drive modes. So we have the drive mode buttons down here, click on to Eco Pro, you find it will change it to blue. We have the comfort drive mode and we also have the sport drive mode which brings up the digital speedo. Moving across onto the centre console, you find the main infotainment screen, we'll just turn the fans down. As you can see, we do have the main screen just here, which has the sat-nav. We do also have the media, where you find the radio stations. We also have the Bluetooth phone connectivity. We have the USB phone connectivity for making phone calls just there as well. Going on to the main menu, if you go to My Vehicle, we have the technology in action with the sport displays just here. We also have the X-Drive as well, really good features to have. Again, we do have the ambient lighting, so if we go back onto my vehicle, scroll up onto the settings, go onto lights, you'll find we have the ambient lighting, which has plenty of colours which we can choose from. We've got the intelligent safety system, making it a very safe vehicle to drive. And if you put the car into reverse, then you'll find we have the reversing camera with the front and rear parking sensors. Putting it back into park, moving further down, we do have the climb control, heat seats either side, and the ice cold air conditioning, all working as they should do, as you can see. Further down from there, you find we have the gloss black trim. We do also have the storage inside of here, cup holders, 12 volt connectivity, and a USB port. We've got the automatic gearbox, different drive modes. We've got the parking sensors, hill descent control. We've got the electric handbrake, and also the auto hold button just there. Nice level armrest in the center, which can be opened up for more storage. But that's all I'm going to show you guys today. If you'd like to find out more, please check out the website. This vehicle comes with fresh service, fresh MOT, and free nationwide next day delivery. Thank you for watching. Video test drive of this BMW X3 X-Drive 20D M Sport. Now the purpose of this video test drive is to show the vehicle drives as you'd expect it to. As you can see, I'm going to have to fight the steering wheel to keep it in a straight line. We're not veering off to the left or to the right hand side, we're staying straight and true. We do have the multifunctional steering wheel which has the paddle shifters on either side. If you want to set the car into manual mode, just tap while the paddles and it will change gear. We do also have the speed limiter and the cruise control buttons just here on the left hand side. We have the digital screens in the dashboard which can show different displays that you would have seen on the photos and also the walk around video. And we also have the full leather interior throughout this vehicle which is very comfortable. You can easily do two, three or even 400 miles in this vehicle and still get out feeling fresh. Both the front seats are also heated, perfect for them at cold winter mornings. And we do have the main screen just here in the centre, currently showing the sat nav, but also has plenty of features on there that you've seen on the photos and also the walk around video. 
And if you listen carefully throughout this video test drive, you'll also notice we'll be free from any unwanted knocks or bangs. We've got the intelligent safety system, making it a very safe vehicle to drive. And we do also have the free zone and climate control as well. The Ascord air conditioning, perfect for them hot summer days. We have the automatic gearbox as well with all the different drive modes. Now in a moment we want to take a right hand turn onto the industrial park where I'll perform an emergency stop and put the car into reverse just to show the brakes and also the reversing camera work as they should do. Put our right indicator on now and then start to slow down, allow the traffic to pass and then we make the right hand turn now onto the industrial park and I'll perform an emergency stop in three two and one hard onto the brakes put the car into reverse we have the reversing camera appear on the screen put it back into drive with no issues whatsoever and if this video hasn't answered all your questions then please feel free to get in contact with our sales team where they can answer all unanswered questions along with one if something requires of you that's all for me today though cheers